Well, how much fun is this? Chalk Talk 2016. And as long as I'm doing Chalk Talks, you're going to hear players, formations, plays. We've done it for years, and we're going to continue to stand by that. But there's going to be little tweaks in this. And this little word right here, this little acronym, RPO, is going to, well, I think it's going to add some flavor to our 2016 Chalk Talk season. This is a run or pass option. This is about this guy right here, as Tom Cable told us a couple weeks ago, being right, of getting to the line of scrimmage and knowing the situation, of knowing the scheme, not just his, but the other scheme, and knowing how to take them apart and whether or not a run is the best option or a pass is the best option. And at the most critical juncture of this game, second and goal, eerily familiar to the ending of the 2014 season, two yard line, 30 seconds, clock ticking down, what are you going to do? Well, the cool thing here is they ran a play on first down. They ran it. They got into a different formation. They were in a bunch formation, and they ran zone read against this exact look, and it went nowhere because this front right here was moving people. This group was not fitting it. This group was winning. Stuff the run play. Clock's ticking. 30 seconds. Next play comes in. Run pass option. You can run the zone, inside zone again which this crew likes to do, but this time out of a different formation. Or Russell, you can look at the alignment. You could look at that first down snap and say, huh, I wonder if a pass is going to be a better option. And he indeed chose a pass. And let me look at three different things. The best player on the field Sunday was Doug Baldwin. So how do I get my player, players, formations, plays, how do I get my player in a one-on-one -on -one situation to win the game? Well, instead of a tight bunch set, they get into their double wing set, and Doug Baldwin gets a one-on-one. -on -one. And that's the player, that's the formation, and then ultimately, what play? If I'm not going to run the ball against this kind of bare nickel look where they covered up all the inside linemen, where there's a lot of bodies and everybody pinned, he's playing man-to-man, -man, pinned into every one of these gaps. If I'm not going to run my zone play and I want to run a pass play, what's the best way to get my play uh, designed to 89 to take advantage? Players, formations, plays. The beauty of this, I told you three things. Number one, Miami never knew. Miami never knew that Russell Wilson checked to the play that he wanted. In fact, these guys up front didn't know. They run the zone action. They all fire off like it's a run play. Jimmy squeezes down. They run a run play. Nobody ever knew. There was no designation. There was no signal. There was no, no look, no tell from Russell Wilson to this group here that this was going to be a pass and to get the linebacker to cheat just a step. Forget the eyes of the nickel, to get the eyes of the nickel and the effort of the nickel a little bit more attentive to the possibilities of a pass. No one never knew. Secondly, this is about 89. So Miami is going to come up and they're going to play man-to-man -man, and you've watched enough Chalk Talks. When they're impressed in the face mask to face mask, right, you know this is man-to-man -man coverage. And they're going to play man-to-man -man, and this nickel is going to be outside shade. And this is where the brilliance of 89 comes in. This nickel is outside shade playing man-to-man -man because he wants to funnel everything in, into his help into this mass of humanity. What he cannot do is get his face crossed outside. He cannot give up a corner route. That is his job. He gets an F on his grade sheet Monday in Miami because he allowed the one thing to not happen. He could allow an inside break and beyond and have the help of others. But if Doug somehow wins and gets to this vacated space, there's no help, none. And he can't let Doug cross his face. But you know what? 89 was better than their guy. With a game on the line and a one-on-one, -on -one, he was better than their nickel because he took outside leverage in about a three-yard space, got on his shoulder, and still crossed his face to win. And then lastly, well, this is just epic timing. This is a split-second reaction between wide receiver and quarterback to both get to this play, to get to this concept, for, for Russell to fake the run and to throw it to an anticipated spot. He has a little cereal box to hit right here. And Doug's got a win across his face. And he throws it before he breaks. And they've got to hit that window. And it's about epic timing and anticipation. And that's why you win. Players, Doug and Russ got it done. A formation and a call, a run pass option to get to the best play available and ultimately to make the game-changing play. That's what win number one for these Seahawks was all about.